Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Ragnarok issue number 11 uh, from IDW, uh, drawn and written by none other than Walter Simonson. We're going to continue. I believe there's only one issue to go with because this is volume two. Well, uh, how do you say? Volume one is one, two, six, and volume two is seven, two, twelve. There's also a volume three, but I don't have the floppies. I only have the hardcovers. You have volume one, two, three, and a hardcover edition. Um, but with floppies, I got only one to 12. So I hope it wraps it up and then, you know, we can continue. Anyway, so let's dive in. So we see here, um, oh, I was a little bit too soon. Okay, so there's a sorceress, there's a prologue, and I believe the sorceress is called Cider, and she is, was making, um, I don't know, a sword, and the sword is resurrecting Draugr, undead. If I'm seeing this correctly could be wrong a little bit okay anyway um for do for those who not you know what this comic is about well you can a little bit read here if you pause the video and uh you can you know leave a little bit of a backstory i've made you know so far 10 videos so if you are, are interested you can you know check it out and subscribe to my channel and all the jazz if you are uh like what you see uh on with the show so yeah, they are the the well the keep or the uh, black hold of en Engantir Agantir. That's how I say it. It's probably wrong, but that's what it is. I don't know how you say it correctly. And uh, so we see Drifa, we see uh, Regan, and we see Thor here. And um, so. Regan is telling his daughter, from, hey, I must talk with Thor privately, take the steeds and um, come back a little bit later. But uh, Thor also feels, you know, terrible because Regan says that, hey, you look terrible. And it seems that the wounds that he has, um, you know, uh, gotten from the last uh, fight is sapping his strength and um, apples of Aiden are losing their effectiveness rapidly. So he must sit down. Um, so then, you know, the girl comes back because Thor and Regan has to talk and Regan takes the gauntlets of Thor for whatever reason with him. And, uh, Drifa is saying, you're going into the Lord of the Dead's hold, aren't you, Papa? Um, and Thor is going to need your help, Drifa. You, you are right. I shall enter the fortress alone. I must confront Angantir, the monster truly responsible for your mother's death. Have you foretold or what? Yes, he's, I believe, some kind of a seer or become a seer. She has some special powers and she is recreating a new sword because the sword that Regan has is unreliable. And um, it seems that this sword is the sword of her mother, his wife, called Brindja. Brindja's first sword, first sword, I'm sorry, I thought you have forgotten it. I have kept mother's weapons with me since we left home. It will never betray you. Okay, I like that. The, the writing is pretty cool, by the way. It's very sharp. So, Regan and um, his daughter have a nice heart-to-heart -heart moment. And she asks her uh, to look after four because he's not feeling well and he needs to uh, yeah, use the apples sparingly. And... Um, you know, and also compliments that what, what a great girl, a great woman she was becoming. And um, then Drifa says, he's not coming back, isn't he? So they have a, a little bit chit-chat here. It's about small talk about Regan probably not going back and he's going to Valhalla. And, um, you know, be with his mother uh, or her mother and his wife. And for, you know, acknowledge that probably, yes, he will not come back. Um all right, so Regan comes with, you know, here at the, uh, the entrance of um, Antagonian, whatever his name is, Fortress. And there is a couple of dragon here and they say, Who dares present a living soul at the gates of the Lord of the Dead? Tell your master his assassin is at his door and awaits his pleasure. And this dragon is going against it. He says, ha ha, you're just an elf and I will slay hundreds more. And who are you to cling to title of? And before he can finish his sentence, he gets smacked in the face by the gauntlets of four. And he's so angry he wants to kill him. But then he's, and another voice says, hold. And Regan says, 
it seems the master already knows. Fortunately for you, your own life would have ended here and now. And uh, so he's been greeted by, by this woman, undead woman, an antagon, and get, sorry, and Gantiers is sitting there on the throne. And um, the Black Elf says, hey, do I know you from somewhere when you were alive? And she says, I cannot remember. And um, and Gantier says, she remembers what I let her um, remember, Regan. But you have a good memory. She is my daughter, Hervor. Hervor? Probably not sure how you say it. So it seems that she was a warrior and a wanderer. And then she stole something from her father. And But, you know, he's a vengeful guy and he just kills her and, and turns her into an undead Draugr, what a piece of shit. And uh, and then we see, I believe, the origin of Engantir. So, but before we go into that, he says, what have you brought me? Ah, these, and, and Mjolnir. I left it lying next to him. It wasn't of use to me. That's what I like about you, uh, Els Regan. No imagination. So, so he tells uh, his origin about that he was a berserker and that... Um, and that his blade was Tearfing. And if I'm seeing this correctly. Yes. So Tearfing is when you. If I remember it correctly from the other issues. When you pull it out of the sheath. Um, it's, I believe it's magical or maybe alive. It can only be sheathed when it tastes blood. So basically if you can. Well you need to kill with it. That's So otherwise there's some kind of a curse on it I believe. Uh, anyway, and he is, uh, you know, was a fierce warrior, etc., and they were deadly. Um, he says, it was buried with me. And Herver came and spoke the words that awoke me out of the ground and took the sword for magic. She was careless. As, you know, she talks about, he talks about his daughter, yeah. In her excitement, she failed to speak the words to return me to my bearer. So, okay, basically it was an accident. So she only needs the sword. But then in doing, saying the words, he also resurrected her father. And he was angry and he gathered uh, a group of Draugr. And uh, so he was uh, entered Helheim, the realm of the dead, in search of an army. And then um, he says, I found more Draugr and even Nair, oathbreakers, seducers and murderers, ready to battle against any odds. But before I could invade the nine worlds, the day of doom arrived. Talking about Ragnarok. The forces of Helheim boarded the great ship of death, a building for uncounted centuries in Helheim. Loki was the helmsman. I was the pilot. I laid our course for Vigrid. Vigrid? Vigrid. The battle plane where the gods have gathered. There we found the great enemies of the gods assembled as well. We joined the battle. Four was missing. And with the world serpent's help, we slew the Aesir and all their allies. With joy. With great joy. Ah, I love it. I love it. How, uh, how Walter Simonson, you know, um, represents his words in, in such a way that it's, it's very exciting to read, right? I, I'm not sure. I just, this coming is, 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 is I, I like it a lot. Let's, let's, let's leave it at that. Um, he says, but when the gods were dead, there was chaos. The great enemies fought amongst themselves over the spoils of the nine worlds. The world collapsed into dusk lands. The dead, numberless, aimless, and drifting. And I knew then that I had found my destiny to order this new realm. Uh, so he occupied uh, the hell's former keeps on the rim of Helheim and become rebuilding it, he says. And then he had to show Reckon something. And he says, Herver, attend us. This concerns you as well. Okay. So he sits there. And he says, the dusk lands are mine, father, that I can see. And my Draugr and Nair troll everywhere ceaselessly. Always I remember the absence of four in battle. So he talks about that uh, some Draugr found the keep where, um, well, four at that time was hold, uh, is being held, hold, held, see, issue one and two. And then um, this remaining Draugr, because the other one was so stupid to touch the hammer, and so they disintegrated. And, and then the surviving Draugr, you know, uh, is telling what's happening and the world of Marth through the Draugr, through the dead, is reaching the, well, the Lord of the dead. Maybe that's how he calls himself. So um, 
He says, when it reached me, I knew I have found the Thunderer myself missing for so many centuries. I gave my Black Elf assassins the task of killing the last god. Thanks to you and Brynja, Ragnarok is finally finished. And we see here four, you know, he must eat the apples because he's very weak. But then, you know, he's way too weak and barely can stand. And um, so, and and and, and Tangir. Sorry, it's very hard for me to pronounce it. And um, uh, speaks to Regan and Regan says, will, uh, will our contract fulfilled when you grant my daughters her gifts as soon as you bring her to me? A bad idea. Your last gift, immortality, filled my daughter. Yeah, so it's all a setup. So the Lord of the Dead is, you know, try to trick him because it only brings her more death instead of, you know, curing for her illness because Drifa is sick. And... Um, so Regan says, you never did plan to fulfill your part of the bargain, did you? And he says, you won't me, Regan. I intend to be generous as I'm truly grateful for your service. I shall, uh, <laughs> I shall give you her for, um, as your chattel to be a wife and slave forever. <laughs> she doesn't like that at all. And, um, and she says, what? You should not have betrayed me, Herver. I said, I never forgive. And then she's being pissed off because she was the one that resurrected him. And uh, she says, I always awoke your sleeping corpse. I should be concert. And, uh, but, you know, uh, Agantir says, uh, hey, the only force that you will be having is pleasing and satisfies your future husband. And, uh, and she says, um, you know, talking about she being her, uh, his concert. <laughs> he says, you who stole my treasure and left me to uh, the wolves. What sort of queen would you be? Have you looked in the mirror recently? <laughs> yeah, because he's undead at such. And then uh, she's, you know, getting more angry and she wants to kill the elf child. And then uh, Agantir, Agantir smacks her in the face and he says, kneel at Regan's feet, Herver, and be silent. But Regan steps in and says, you think I will allow this? And in the Lord of the Dead, I says, says, I always like your daughter, Regan, sweet, unspoiled, alive. I'll change that, of course, except the last. But in the end, I shall bend her will, and to, uh, bend her to my will and will bend you. And he says, never. You will become your daughter's own torturer, breaking her for me. And I will, <laughs> you will enjoy it. I already have uh, sent several Draugr Petros, Petro, Petros, Petros. Quartering the land around you would not be have abandoned your daughter somewhere distant. She will be found and she will be mine. All right, I came a little bit wrong because I read it incorrectly. So I apologize. Anyway, so the Draugr is found. Drifa, but, you know, Thor is still there. But Regan is fed up. Gets the sword and impales the Lord of the Dead. And he says, normally I would be quickened. Uh, well, way more quick because we're very fast. But somehow, Regan is is hitting his targets. But then the Lord of the Dead says, But alas, I am beyond Tirfling's malice. Have you forgotten? I am already dead. There is only one living being in the Black Holes whose death will satisfy the Blade's curse. All right. So this is happening. This looks fantastic, by the way. Poor Regan, by the way. He's a great guy. So he's being impaled by this cursed sword falls down, and also for being weakened as he are, he can do nothing for now, and it's going to be continued into the next issue. So, yeah, what will happen in the last issue of Volume 2? I want to know, but we're going to find out. So, and we have also some art gallery here. Uh, basically, so this is the cover for issue 12. This is great. This is just so fun much. I'm sorry, what did I say? This was so fun much? No, it's the other way around. But you know what I'm trying to say. It looks great. Look at this. This is so much fun. You know, with the inking and penciling and sketching and whatnot. Fantastic. Guys, I have nothing more to say except that this is a great book. Um, get it if you can. It's really worth it. I said it many times. I cannot say it enough. Do it. <laughs> uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.